Hey everyone, I'm doing a quick video here and talk about the problem I discovered with the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max uh, working with Kira and other slicers as well. The issue I ran into is it didn't seem like the bed leveling was actually working. And if you look at the Z-axis stepper motors, they should be moving ever so slightly while the print is actually running. So when the gantry is moving back and forth, there should be a little bit of motion to account for all the different problems with your, you know, your bed because they're all not perfectly flat. And so if you go into Cura and I'm using version 5.5.0, but the official quote unquote version that ships with the Elegoo printers has the same issue. And so if you go into your preferences, uh, configure Cura, go to printers, and you can see I have Elegoo Neptune 3 Max and click on machine settings. And let's go take a look at the start G code. This is the G code that runs before the print job starts. The end G code runs after the print job is over. And if we take a look at the startup code, we can see that this line right here has the M420 S1Z10 command commented out. Now commented out means there's a semicolon in front of it. And whenever you have a semicolon in a script file, it ignores that entire line or any data after that semicolon, which in this case would be the entire line. So what does M420 do? Well, it actually enables the uh, bed leveling. So if you do not have this enabled, your bed leveling does not work. It physically does not do anything. So you're at the mercy of however level your bed is not adjustable or not adjusted automatically like you would expect with the mesh leveling enabled. So to enable it, you simply just delete the semicolon and presto, um, now it works. And so now your Z axis will actually go up and down and it will account for any of the imperfections in the bed and do everything that you expect it to be working, um, you know, from the factory from the start. And if you want to force a bed leveling every single time that you start a print job, which I do because of the fact that I have found that removing the steel plate and putting it back in place changes the mesh. And if you don't believe me, try it yourself. I did it about a dozen times and I was able to do back-to-back -back, uh, calibrations without changing the metal plate. And I was seeing results that were within 0.01 of the you know previous result. But when I pulled the plate, put it back in place, and the nearest possible location I could get it into, so close as possible to where it was, it didn't matter. I got radically different mesh leveling. Um, so you can try it yourself. But if you want to force it to do leveling every single time before print job, you can just put in a G29 command after the G28. And we can just make a comment that says force leveling. And that's it. So now that this is done, um, that's all you got to do. And voila, you've got a printer that will now actually use the calibration data that we spent countless hours, you know, trying to get perfect.